hello welcome back and hello if you're new today I'm gonna plant some of my garlic outside that I haven't started yet so I need to break up the cloves and all that but I'll give you a uh, I'll give you a whole tour of the um, allotment and the garden and we'll see how we go but I want to get those uh, garlic in first Right, I've got my garlic clove. I've not broke it up yet, as you can see, but I do that just before I plant them. So what I'm going to do, like I said before, I'm going to do a row down there and see how far we get. But obviously, you're not going to be able to see that when I plant them, so I'll just get on with it and do it. All right, this is what I got out of that clove. 14. I'm going to use 10 of them and put the rest of them in a curry, I think. But I thought I'd do a little experiment. Right. This is that. I found a really little clove in there, as you can see by my finger. See how small it is. So, what I'm going to do, see what happens. I've taken that rotten um, onion radar out. I'm gonna pop that in there. And there goes a plane, typical. I'll put that in there and then see if I have any luck. See what we go with that. See how we do with that, I should say. So, yeah, it's only for a see what happens if anything to be honest so yeah and i'll i'll mark this one as small so i know that it was the little um bulblet or clove if you want to call it that right i don't know if you can see or not but i'll put three along there a couple down there and the rest are down to there to the edge so yeah, you should be able to see why I've disturbed it a little bit. So let's see a garlic in the rest of it. Right, this is the first lot of uh, garlic that I planted, just in case you haven't seen it. So they're doing quite well. No, they're doing really well, to be honest. They're quite big as well. And I've still got that. Still got to take that leaf off. <laughs> I've still got that one Brussels sprout left in there. And uh, the kohlrabi. Yeah. The uh, cabbage is doing all right. I just want these slugs to lay off. But as you can see, some of them, we've got some new leaves in the middle. So. I'm just hoping that the slugs don't get to them too much. That one's not too bad over there. But these are the uh, winter radish red meat. That one's growing back a bit more. And that's the uh, other kohlrabi. And as far as I am concerned, this is my engine room. Yeah, so this is my compost. Well, this is, I've just started putting some leaves in there. But what I'm going to do, if I get a big load, then I'm probably going to just pile the leaves up on there. Because the amount of leaves I can get, hopefully, that there's no way it's going to go in there. So I'll probably just pile a big, pile a load of leaves up on that. Obviously take this off and all that. I might be able to get some pallets to make some sort of bin or something. But this is my oldest one. I've put um old compost that's been used for my peppers and all my plants and stuff in there. And this is just well, I only put this on here last week actually. So yeah. yeah, as far as I'm concerned, this is the uh, engine room, you know what I mean? You get 
where I get most of my compost out of here that I put on my no dig beds. So at some point I'm gonna need to uh, spread some of that out over here. So yeah. Right, that's the two black currant bushes. Uh, that's a gooseberry, gooseberry, gooseberry. I don't know if this one's made it or not. But yeah, it's a gooseberry. Uh, that's my comfrey. Really, I should have taken that off, to be honest. And these are the uh, strawberries that I've planted recent, replanted and split up and stuff recently. It's that one and that one. And that's the uh, pine berries. I'm gonna make, because see, this is where that fence was. You probably might not re remember it, but there was a fence there. Then I have my compost bins all up over there. I'm gonna make a bed out, extend that bed out this way a little bit but I'm not sure on the shape of it yet so I've got some um, marker spray so I can spray out some sort of bed give me an idea what it's like then if I like it then I'll do it so I'll mark this bed out as well while I'm out here just to give you an idea of what's what it's gonna be right there you go, as you can see, it's all sprayed out in blue. That's what I've got in, in my head at the moment. It's got uh, plenty of space for my wheelbarrow to get through. And I've leveled it up with that bit as well. So, yeah, because that's one thing I, did, I am struggling with, to be honest, is I didn't leave enough space down here. So really, I need to take these boards up and move them over a little bit so I can get my barra down there because it is quite a struggle, to be honest. But I have marked out another bed, but I'll show you that after I've been in the polytunnel and showing you what's going in there. Then we get onto the gardening tour bit. And this is where my potting bench is. And because I've got this all level and everything, if you look down in that corner, you can see that it falls away quite a lot. So what I want to do, I want to dig that pile out that I just showed you. I want to level this bank bit off so I can start doing my bench. So that's going to be the job for the week. Right, thanks for watching this far. If you haven't subscribed yet, there's a button down in that corner. Click on the bell, click on all, and you'll get my notifications. It doesn't cost you anything, it's free. And as before, I'll put a couple of videos at the end on there as well. Right, I'll get back to it now. Right, as you can see, we're in the uh, polytunnel now. I'll show you what's going on. Here's the uh, strawberries. These are the uh, Broad Bean Barnyard Exhibition. There's another one just coming up there. So, yeah, they're popping up. Uh, I've got, I bought some more uh, cauliflower. I've got the uh, snowball this time, because I've done uh, all year round last year, and yeah, didn't really get that much, to be honest. Nothing on the onions, us the Craig couple more of a broccoli but yeah i don't even know if i'm gonna bother with that to be honest and these are the uh onion radar as you can see there's only like uh two that haven't fired that one's still quite hard but obviously this one oh no, i mean sorry as you can see this one's a bit mouldy, so yeah, I'll take that one out, get rid of that. Focus, yeah, 
these are the uh, shallots. None have fired yet or started to grow, but they still feel. A few of them still feel quite hard. There's one or two that's gone a bit soft, but they have started uh, putting roots down because you can feel the resistance. Oh, not that one. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this one. Let's see what's happening. A little bit of root, not a lot, it's plonking back in. But you can feel them, if you lift them gently, you can feel if they've started rooting. But just don't pull them too hard. And these are the uh, snowball onions. Quite a lot of them have uh, started. There's a few that haven't yet, but yeah, so it's still got a bit of time to go. And uh, last but not least, this is the white garlic Casablanca. So yeah, I've got full germination on them. So I'll probably be planting them next week, depending on how big they get. And there's the rest of the strawberries. I'll give you a quick look at the uh, Christmas potatoes. I might have to put a string here or something just to hold it up a bit. So it's not right over the door like that. But yeah, they're doing all right. Can't see any signs of flowers yet. So we just have to be a little bit more patient with them, I think. Right, here's my red robin that I pruned a little while ago. I could take that off a little bit if I wanted to, to be honest. So I might take that one off. But they're all doing all right. Even this one. This one's going quite well, as you can see, with all the buds and stuff on. But this is what I've marked out for around by the window. So I'll show you from the other side and then we carry on. So, yeah. There you go, that's what I've got in mind. I think that's gonna work. I like that, to be honest. But I just need to move these slabs and they are the heavy, heavy ones. So I'm going to have to get a mate or something to help me move them. Because I need them. I need them to finish off right at the top there. Right, I'll get on with the garden tour and show you that. I'm going to get some of these weeds out as well while I'm about it. <laughs> it's not that many, so it won't take five minutes really. So... But this is the uh, apple tree, or apple espalier, I should say, at the moment. Getting some nice ones. Not quite ready yet. So, yeah. But we'll see how they go. This time's getting on now. And really, they need to start ripening. So... Right, this pear tree here bloomed really late and as you can see it's got some little pears on it still but I should have done it on camera really but I lifted this one up and this uh, pear just dropped off so this is going to be rock hard now so I'll put this on the windowsill for about a week and hopefully It'll turn into a nice soft pear when I bite into it. So, yeah, there you go. A bit unexpected. But I might just leave these on there, leave these little ones on there a little bit longer, see if they ripen or not, or get to where I can pick them off. A little while ago, I uh, sowed some flower seeds down here, and I can't remember what they were, but there you go. They've come up quite well, actually. So we'll have to see what they turn out like. 
and I also scared more over here. I've got some um, pansy seedlings that I sowed here as well with some of them others that I scattered before. So yeah, should get quite a nice lot of flowers. I need to get these gladioli out actually because I only had one flower spike out of all that lot so far. And I haven't, they're, they're obviously they're in the ground but they're buried in a pot so the pot's probably got loads of new bulbs in them so I'm gonna need to get them up and see what the bulbs are like in that one because I only have one flower spike in that one so there's probably going to be loads of new gladioli in there and this is what the other one this flower's gone over now but there doesn't seem to be so many in that one so I might just leave that one actually but like I said that gladioli is in a pot so I need to dig up the pot and get the uh, corns out of there and see what we, we end up with. That's not going to be today. That's, that's going to be pretty soon. Right, that's going to be it for today. So I've set myself out a few jobs for next week. I think, like I said, I'm going to level the bottom end of that polytunnel where the bench is going to go and hopefully I'll dig out or sort something out for a bed by the polytunnel as well I'll get that up and going as well I think so right thanks for watching commenting and subbing if you haven't subbed yet the bell's in that corner click on the bell click on all and you'll get my notifications all right, as I said before, I'll put a couple of videos at the end. All right, catch you Saturday. Bye.